Are you ever wondering what host controls mean when somebody says it? Or are you interested in learning some more about host controls when you're hosting a Google Meet? The person that creates the Google Meet has host controls and unlike Zoom, they cannot be transferred to somebody else. Um, so that's one thing worth noting. When you do start up a meeting, I'm just gonna start up a new meeting here now. And once you're in your meeting, you can come down for your host controls. And I'm just going to turn off my camera and my mic. Uh, once you come down to host controls, you have the option here to allow everyone to share their screen or to send chat messages. Um, and you also have what's called quick access. So this one here is important because when it's turned off, everyone who isn't invited must ask to join, including people in your organization. So I leave, if I'm doing a, a professional development session, I leave quick access on. So that way you're not prompted and interrupted in the, in the middle because sometimes we have people joining late. Um, if you want to view all the host controls, they're in here within your video and there's some different options, but that's the quick overview of host controls. And we also have access up here to what Google calls activities which allows us to do breakout rooms, polls, and Q&A, which is great even when we're delivering a professional development or you're having a staff meeting or anything online, you can use this and have the Q&A open uh, so you don't miss anybody's questions. If you have any uh, comments or you'd like to learn any more about using Google Meet to facilitate uh, professional development or a staff meeting, just let me know. Thanks and stay safe.